Hello everyone, it's Theme Park Avenue. I am Eric with a new Universal Orlando review where I'm reviewing all of the dark rides, water rides, motion simulators at Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. I've had some very nice positive reviews about some great rides. However, there are some that I don't really like all that much. And one of those is Skull Island Reign of Kong. I'm going to talk about that now. Before we begin with the actual review, I hope you'll subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate all the support, I'm hoping to get to 800 subscribers soon. Now let's get into the review. Skull Island Reign of Kong, a little bit of background first. It's a weird kind of motion-based dark ride, there's a lot of screens to it. It's in the Skull Island area of Islands of Adventure, which is kind of a small area of Jurassic Park, but it really is its own area. The ride is pretty well received, heck even Coaster Studios says it's one of the best dark rides. However, I don't really like it all that much. I will explain why. So let's go through the whole experience. Beginning with the queue. The queue is the highlight of this ride. That's normally not a good sign for a ride, even if the queue is really good. This queue is incredibly detailed, massive, beautiful. I had no issue with wading through this because it looks so awesome. Then we get to the actual ride. And you get in this one big truck, there's a bunch of seats, and there's this animatronic driver. It differs every time you ride, that's pretty cool. But here's the thing, after you go through the giant doors that open with the fire around you, things take a turn for the worse. I love that opening part. You're going through the giant door, it looks beautiful, really great facade, but then you have sitting in front of a screen, watching your friends or whatever just get grabbed by giant demon bats. I haven't really seen King Kong movies in a while, but I don't remember there being demon bats, and I don't really like demon bats being in this ride. It's a bit weird that we're just sitting there watching, and I was very frustrated by that, honestly. And you're moving very slowly, that's kind of boring. Before that, there's this large, um, like, bone and some animatronic bat things that are okay. Not that impressive, and I think, given that it's very darkly lit, because of course it's like, you know, indoors and all that. I think that is to the ride's detriment, as it kind of makes the whole thing seem a bit gritty and ugly, and it's a bit hard to see stuff. The one part where you're just sitting for a good minute and a half watching the girl brutally attack these weird things that look like what I want to call demented Pokemon, that I definitely do not remember from any King Kong movies. I didn't really like that. She gets grabbed by a giant claw arm and survives somehow. I did not really get that. That was a bit frustrating to me. The big issue with this ride is when you're just sitting there in front of a screen, it's very obviously a screen, you're not doing anything, just sitting. That's one of the most boring possible aspects of a dark ride, and I think it takes up a majority of this one, so that's an issue for me. Then you get to some dinosaurs, I remember dinosaurs in King Kong at some point, but not too vividly. It really doesn't feel like you're moving for the most part, the part where you fall off the bridge kinda does, but other than that, it's not a very immersive dark ride. And given that it's just you looking at a screen, I think it could have been better. The CGI is solid, not great, but solid in this ride. And I will say there's some pretty awesome stuff that I would not show kids. Like, I would not want to see a kid just snap a T-Rex's jawbone and see that happen with King Kong. That was terrifying for a young kid, I'm sure. And then you just kind of watch him, King Kong save you and he leaves. And then you see the giant Kong animatronic head and that's pretty awesome. I like that. So the pluses of this ride overall are the queue, the opening thing with the facade, and the giant head at the end. The issues are the really weak story, the mediocre screens, and just a really boring ride for me. I get that some are very intrigued by this and like the story, it just did not work for me. I hope no one is too mad I don't like this ride, but I just did not think it was all that fun. I really go to these amusement parks to have fun. And if it can't be that fun, if it blows away the, like me with the theming, I think that's okay. And this one came close with the queue and the big animatronic, but other than that, it's just kind of sitting there in front of a screen. If they changed that a bit, I would definitely say this is a really, really decent ride. As it stands, I think it's a pretty overrated one. Is it the worst at Universal? No. But I'd probably call it my least favorite ride at Islands of Adventure. Because while there are some, yo, weak kitty rides and all, I'd rather ride something that does its job and doesn't bother me in any way than something that 
has so many flaws and a couple of redeeming qualities. And honestly, one animatronic, a queue, and one scene is just not enough to carry a whole dark ride. This ride is... Honestly, I'm sorry, I just don't think it's a very good ride. I know I'll upset some with this, but that's my overall thoughts on Kong. I suggest you ride it once and determine for yourself whether or not you like it and want to ride it more times afterwards. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed this controversial review. Comment down below your thoughts on Kong, like the video if you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.